proceed to our presentation, let me introduce first my name. I am Messi Pira Badon, the anchor of this group, and my members are Angelica Inso, Kathleen Maramara, Maricar Gregorio, Pearl Mamulo, Ella Formentera, and Loida Velasco. And for today's presentation, we're going to present to you classroom management and structuring of the classroom and in, in classroom management we are going to choose a misbehavior of the classroom and we choose the misbehavior bullying what is bullying what are the cause and effect of bullying and what is the solution of this misbehavior to the discussion um, let us show you a short video clip of, of a scenario of bullying everyone is picking on him the cyber bullying gets worse boys from the school have been making life difficult around the world one in every three students are bullied and many more see others being bullied Many victims don't know who to turn to and become isolated and depressed. They start missing classes or drop out of school altogether. Physical bullying is most common, but children can also be exposed to psychological or sexual bullying in school. In an online space, it is known as cyberbullying. Countries cannot achieve inclusive and equitable quality education for all if learners are being bullied at school. There is a way to change this. We can stop bullying by adopting a whole education approach where we all play a role in promoting a safe and supportive school environment. will be discussed will be the definitions of bullying so i will be the one to discuss you further about that class so i need your attention uh, please understand what okay so first is bullying is purposely hurting someone else so by the means of purposely it is intentional okay that person is intentional hurting a certain person that she or he wants to bully them, okay so that's it but the second one is the bullying is repetitive okay which means it happens again and again and again it is not the same as something happening once okay so to wrap up um that um person bullied you again and again they hurt you not just once but they hurt you so many times okay the third one is bullying can be physical verbal and mental it hurts the victim a lot and in so many ways so third one will be bullying can be physical verbal mental it hurts the victim a lot and in many different ways so like for example of class that when we say bullying it's not just only hurtful words okay it's just it's not just verbal but some other cases also they tend to get physical bullying okay so that's it and also it's not just mental for that mental issues for that and also at least to the victims that they will be having a mental issues within themselves okay like for example that they out of confidence right now within themselves so they intend to um just cry just be little within themselves and that's it so bullying is not just only hurting words okay there are three ways physical so uh, like i said like they use their um you know they use their body to hurt that um victim and uh, second one will be the verbal that's it the hurting words um cut calling or any um nicknames that is really hurtful hurtful within yourself okay and also the mental so it came up also in the mental that you know when you got bullied then you will overthink that i am not enough i am i really insecure you are very insecure with it yourself and you you lose your confidence so that's it second one will be the causes of bullying so what are the causes of bullying for you guys okay so here are the list of uh, the examples or some of the examples that i will give it to you class so first is revenge of other peers okay for example that person is bullying you like um, that person is cut calling you or giving you nicknames, bad nicknames that really hurts your feelings. As you as a person, then you will be revenge, okay? 
so that's it. So second one is for entertainment purposes. Okay? So like for example, Papi Da Bida. So why am I shot? So what is that is the one of the example for so for entertainment purposes. Like for example, social media is their lots of me. So third is to get along from their peers. Okay? So like for example that you'll just knock the chalks to someone else and just like breaking the ice and or breaking the ice then you will just give some bullying statements to that to your peers, right? So that's it. And by doing that, then you thought that it was funny and no, it is one also a bullying ways. Okay? And lastly will be help bolster or remind people of their own social distancing. Okay? So help to bolster or remind people for their own social dis distancing. Um, you know, there are times that uh, we are not uh, we're so blind in our our what we say, what we act uh, to our peers, okay? And we forget that it is below on the belt that we are giving them their jokes, their jokes that is not so funny. You thought that you thought that it is funny, but them it is really hurtful for them. So you need to, uh, you know, you need to think before you you will crack the jokes or you will uh, give the kind of nicknames or cut calling for them, okay? So lastly, I will be also reporting about the effects of bullying, okay? So first is undermining your confidences, self-esteem, and things of security. So like I said, that it will also cause putting yourself. You're being so insecure, so your confidence will be lost, and uh, you don't know what uh, what you are doing within your life. Okay. So in just a piece of hurtful words, then your confidence will be gone. Right. Second will be affecting your performance and attending at school. So this one is very common in our society right now. Uh, we back before because uh, we are very in the face-to-face -face classes and you know that uh, We all know that uh, bullying is very, you know, there is a big impact to each one of us uh, And it's also it is also affects your performance at schools like for example your teachers give you a certain uh, Test for example, okay, for example that in your B class that your teachers want you to um, to um, create your being so insecure, your confidence will be lost, and uh, you don't know what uh, what you are doing within your life. Okay, so in just a piece of hurtful words, then your confidence will be gone. Right? Third will be causing stress and affecting your health for that. So it is true that bullying will be also causing you stress. Why? So like I said, like you have that hurtful words within yourself, you get stressed enough. So you will just overtake, you will just get stressed, overtake, what is something wrong with me? Why do you always get bullied me? Do I need to change myself? So that's it. That is also causing you as you are reading yourself with your mental help for that. Okay? So for it will be viewing uh, prejudice in areas such, so, such as a race, religion, and uh, sexuality. So uh, it is very common in here that we all know that you know, in our race, uh, you know, in our race that we Filipino have dark skins, okay? You know what? Uh, Filipino was born in dark or brown, you know, brown um, skin. So that is our race, okay? And we also have black hairs for that. So it is also been bullied for that because we all know, uh, class, that our definitions of beauties will be always white, right? White skin for that one, on uh, a uh, shiny, um, you know, blonde hair for that. So you also get bullied for that when you are so dark for that in your race for that so it got bullied for that and also in our religions religions right so like for example that religion we also have lots of um, bullied for our religions like Muslim right who um you know um to bully them like they always um also uh, wear their hijab if I'm not in a second that is um they call to and they also. You know, they also use their attire for that every day. So that's it. So and also the sexualities. You know that uh, it is very, very uh, famous to bully. Not, uh, you know, and also the sexualities. We all know that sexuality is very um, centered also of one of the bullied in our society. So like for example, that person is a gay or that person is, you know, is a lesbian. Then we tend to uh, bully that person for that, to hurt their feelings. So intentionally for that. Okay, so lastly is thinking as societal thoughts. So that's it. So you know, in so many ways, there are lots of ways of uh, bullied for that. And you know, to in the end, that 
you will not take those hurtful words they say to you then hurtful words that you uh, you know you uh, take all of your self those um, those are uh, really really hurtful that you're not able to uh, to take off within yourself then you will be intended to be suicidal you'll just think that i'm not worthy enough within my existence then i'll just finish you in here okay so plus uh, be mindful enough that um you need to think okay you need to think and you need to also to remind yourself that nobody's perfect in this world okay this world so if you're having a hard time right now that's okay it's just only chaos okay so you need to chill out so plus um that's it this is um that is the effect that is the cause and that is the definitions of bully so to wrap up in all and we'll just leave you a message in here also you need to think twice or thrice okay before you tell that kind of hurtful words to that person because sometimes you don't know that it's just you know it's just a job then you don't know that kind of person is dealing with hard times okay so that's it guys you need to think twice thrice or so on for that before you talk any hurtful words to your peers okay so that's it guys if you have any questions just uh tell me okay mass receive the solutions of bullying first pay more attention and intervention to bully um if you are being bullied um pwede pwede mo sabihan sa kanya get away from me or ever um ano lalapit kayo sa ibang adults para um, masaway sila sa pagbubuti sa iyo um next is social support from teachers peers and families and minsan kasi yung may mga estudyante na nagbubuli dito sa school lang sila ng um support from their peers their families especially sa families may mga um, estudyante kasi na nagre nagre-rebelde dahil hindi sila binibigyan ng pansin sa um, bahay nila or sa especially sa family nila family nila kaya um, nilalabas nila yung sama nila ng loob to their um, victim ayan the third one is building up positive relations with parents para if ever may may um, nabubulis isaman sa iyong mga mga estudyante is um, madali kang makalapit sa mga sa parents then reinforce education about self-protect pwede mo ito i-discuss sa klase mo um, makakakita ka ng um, um, scenario na may, na may binuli at ano yung naging epekto ng pagbubuli na yan sa um, victim ayan and now um, I have here some pictures um, you can display these pictures uh, um, inside your classroom or um, inside the school premises para malaman ng mga um, other students na masama yung pagbubuli at um, malalaman din nila kung ano yung ano ang dapat gawin pag binubuli sila. Structuring of the classroom Classroom setup is an important component in a conducive learning because it is an essential piece of classroom management to support both teaching and learning. Benefits of a well-designed classroom. First, students learn to respect boundaries. Second, the organization of classroom materials allows students to retrieve them quickly, which helps to decrease unwanted behavior. Third, proper room management Essential areas. Essential means it is very important or extremely important. These are a few things or areas that you must have in your old classroom. First, a home base. Second, a group instruction area. Third, a teacher workstation. Fourth, a transition space. Here, we'll take a closer look at how you can arrange each of these specific areas. Each student needs to have their own space or have it in their own table. It is very important to have that space so that they can do their independent work or they can do whatever they want to do and they have their privacy that they need. And in order for them to focus on their work so that they can do much better.